Welcome back, MTG Joe here. It's a new season, so we are gonna be trying to make it up to Mythic again. Um, this is the deck that I stopped my run at 140 on the Mythic ladder. This is my historic mono red snow aggro. Um, so we finished at 140 with a cut like 24 hours left. I think I finished around 160 once like rank decay took into account. Uh, but it's a very powerful deck. I've had a uh, few people had some success in post list that they also got to Mythic with it and uh, finished in the top 1200. So nice to see others are catching on to the mono red goodness. Um, so I want to do some ranking up, see if we can hit diamond and then we'll play some brews. Um, so what we have in essence, it's very similar to the standard mono red, but we get some really nice upgrades. Uh, you have your core of like Robber the Riches, Vervin Champion, Annex into Cleave. You also have your Bone Crusher Giants. Uh, what you get in Historic is you get Bomat Courier. It's a one mana one one that when it attacks, you exile the card and then you can sack it to discard your hand and put all those exiled cards in your hand. So it's a card advantage for one mana. Um, in Historic as well, there are cards that have like protection from cards is meaningful and like the auras match up, stuff like that. So having an artifact is also impactful. Um, we are playing Frostbite in our version because we are the Snowland package uh, for the Faceless Havens as well. Uh, Burning Tree Emissary is basically a free two drop in this deck. It's mana neutral when you cast it. Uh, you do have draws where you can go like Burning Tree, use the green mana for Bomat Courier, the red mana for Fervent Champion, or like Frostbite. You can do into the Robber or the Bone Crusher. Um, unlike the Gruel list, you're not like all heavy, heavy two drops. Um, so there are some times you're just casting this as a two mana two two. Uh, but notably, it is two sources of devotion for your Annex, Harden in the Forge. Um, you get Rampaging Ferocidon. Um, so this card was previously banned at one point in Standard. Um, but it's mainly in here for the Angels matchup. You could stop him from gaining life. Same with Cat Oven. Uh, whenever a creature enters the battlefield, that player takes a damage. So also Cat Oven um, for the Sack decks. They actually kind of neutral out any advantage that they would have. Um, we have Chandra Torch of Defiance, which is my favorite card in Historic. Uh, just a very flexible uh, Planeswalker. It gives you card advantage, it ramps you, it deals, it's uh, like a removal spell and it's Anthem, or it's Emblem, sorry. Uh, pretty much wins you the game. Anytime you cast a spell, it deals five damage. So a nice effect there as well. Uh, in the sideboard, um, so Historic's pretty wide open. There's a lot of decks if you're not familiar with the format. Um, but you do have to kind of attack at a couple different angles. So you have Graveyard Hate and Combo Hate with Grafdigger's Cage and Soul Guide Lantern. Um, a Braid is a really flexible spell. Uh, it's both removal, but can also deal with artifacts on your opponent's side. Uh, Lava Coil is here because the Angel matchup primarily is very difficult with the four toughness. Uh, it also lets us trade up in the Gruel matchups as well. Uh, the Exile itself is actually quite relevant as well against some creature decks. Uh, Roiling Vortex is for blue-white control, any of these Saltai or Yorian piles that are going around, uh, really for any slower deck. Uh, you can get it down and uh, generally you're winning the race in damage. You have your fourth Ferocidon versus life gain decks or where it's relevant. Uh, even against Goblins, they can't really mux us through. Uh, and the Cronin War is kind of my tech against the Auras matchup. Uh, generally, they're going to go all in on a very big core Spirit Dancer, uh, so you can get it out of the way. Um, same, similarly, like with Gruul, you could kind of take their big blockers out of the way. Uh, so I am at Plat 3. I honestly haven't played much this season, um, but we will jump right in, see how much we could round it up. I was playing this a bit on mobile, uh, so I got my three wins. It's uh, it's an easier deck to play on mobile. You don't have to worry about like 500 cards in hand. Your interactions are generally pretty linear, but we'll see how it goes. Hope everyone is doing all, well, all right out there. This deck does perform immensely better on the play than the draw. So notably, we don't see Yorian out of our opponent. So in the dark, I think this hand is reasonable. I generally like leading Bomat if I can attack with it that turn. The quicker you can get cards under it, the better value it has. There are times as well. Okay, so the opponent Mulligan, we'll keep this.
they mulligan. Okay. So it looks like we're actually potentially against the mirror. Or it could be goblins. Let's see if the frostbite comes out. They do have a play here, so let's see what they come out with. So we have the mirror. So no play here. I'm just going to run this out. This kind of telegraphs to me that they have potentially Bone Crusher Giant. So I'd rather keep this around. They're also, we're not getting a card off them, so I'd want to hold on to this. If they go Annex here, yeah, so if they go Robber here, that's an easy kill. So at this point, we're good doing that. We have Chandra to come down next turn and start gaining some value. Even if they go Chandra here, it's not the end of the world. I might bait them if they want to try to get this Faceless Haven activated to block. They could plus here. I knew you needed to hold this. It's gonna hurt. So we'll do this. And then we'll just exile here. We hit a lot of lands here. We're still winning this race, but our two cards are basically dead at this point. And they have the Faceless Haven. Wanted to chip it down so the minus wasn't relevant. So they can activate Faceless Hit Me here, and if they have the Stomp, that's their best line. This will be easy. Okay, they have Ferocid on, so they have to decide if they want to cast this. If they cast it, then I down tick on my Chandra to kill it. This turn is likely just this Faceless Haven, activate, go into Chandra. So we got cleave. Um, so here, yep. You're going down. it's a bit unfortunate. So I'm gonna do both into here, and I'm just gonna activate Ramana this turn. We're going to see the Faceless Haven likely come through. I want to try to use this as a combat trick. Also, I don't want to throw out the cleave and then I'm not able to kill their Chandra. I think getting Chandra off the battlefield is the most important thing at this point. We are drawing ton of lands. So I generally will put the cleave on the non-fervent just because you can always equip it to fervent champion for free. Opponent needs two removal spells here and then we are just one point of damage away. Cool. So it's the mirror. So this is a bring all removal in matchup. Um, three cards to cut. I think on the play we cut a cleave. Uh, generally these mono red mirrors, you end up being like a lot more interactive. Um, I think we cut a robber on the play and a Bomac Courier on the play. The first strike is relevant here, and then they're gonna have a lot more removal. 
A Chrono War is a consideration, but these matchups, I, I think you can just kill their things is better. Um, if we play it like on an annex, we're just going to try to win that turn. Plus also four mana on the play, I'd rather keep Chandra in. It's nice seeing your deck come out, uh, a deck you make. The big thing in these mirrors especially is winning game one. Um, if you are able to be on the play for game three, especially post board, uh, it's usually where you're kind of best able to pull out your game plan. So usually what you want to do in these matches is get a threat down and then just interact with their board. Kill their creature, kill their creature. Your spells are really, you're playing like a aggro control. So really like tempo in a sense. Opponent is taking their time with the sideboarding. Not sure if they've had to sideboard for the mirror yet. Opponent was on that play that game. Their hand was fairly slow. I think we keep this hand. My Fitbit just decided to have spasms. So if they go kind of wide here, it's a bit troublesome. Okay, so the decision point here. And honestly, I think I'm okay doing it is just like Kill this, kill this. Actually, we can do this depending on how they play out. They might try to remove a spell here, that's fine. Kill that here. Because now I get to go bow mad and hold up uh, Bone Crusher Giant. They missed the line drop as well. So if I get land next turn, I can land Lava Coil. You got it. So we're just going face here. If I don't hit a lines, then we bone crusher. They've already used two of braids. They need another land for frostbite to be turned on. Um there's no value in showing them that we have the land yet. We can't get it cleave on anyways. This might entice them. They drew three of braids. There is a way to beat us. It's three of braids. Still in a good spot. We have Faceless that we can activate. They've used three of their three damage removal spells. Okay, so Frostbite's on now. Not worried about that. Um, it's plus here. Uh, and I say we just pass the turn. So here, I'm keeping this for Annex. I want to see if we hit it like a two drop there. Just kill this now. So I think at this point, we're probably, actually, I can kill Chandra. Okay, 
killing Chandra seems good. We can put them to three here, but I, Chandra's kind of the way like they kill my board and they can kind of get out of it. I can just emblem next turn. Got him. Easy game. Don't come in my mono red house. They stumbled a bit, and that's what I really like about this deck. If your opponent misses a line drop or anything, you usually just like pummel them into the ground. Like, especially if they're on, like, Yorian piles or stuff like that. If they're trying to play, like, a four-mana removal spell. I've had games where I've had, like, Triple Fervent Champion on turn three. Or just, like, four creatures. You turn on... Like, you could get Embercleave out on turn three quite easy. Harry Manback. Never change arena names. Opponent's a professional and are going on the play. This hand is not good. This hand is a keep. It's actually quite interesting how we want to approach this. So we have two turns to draw another land. I think we go that route. Because the real payoff here is with Embercleave. So we could turn three Embercleave if we hit a land. If they're elves, then going through an Annex Cleave is generally the way we win. If they're Gruel, then similarly we need Annex. Yeah, it's Gruel. So Gruel on the play is a little tough. Hey, Bob Luck, how's it going? Uh, that's not what we want to see. I get a land one time. Land one time. I'm doing well. How about yourself? We actually ran into the mirror just before this. Took him down. Probably a turn too slow in this game. Land. Frostbite. Doesn't quite do it. Doesn't quite do it. Missed the line drop. Yeah, they're looking pretty sweet. I have to take like a deep dive. I'm waiting for everything to come out and then I'll just take a look. I always have the habit of building a deck and then cards get spoiled in between. So to that sentiment, our hand worked out if we had our land. We put a land away to keep the cleave and we drew a cleave instead of a land. Hey Titans, how's it going? Congrats on the spoiler. Uh, so although they get a point of damage, I'm gonna kill. Oh no, this isn't a uh, punt. Okay, whatever, we dead. We dead, we dead, we dead. I forgot we didn't have the third land. Okay, so similar to the mono red list but against the Cronin, i'm gonna bring in the acronin war cut a cleave um i don't love bowmat in this matchup they have a lot of two drops they gum up the board pretty well so we're running it like that yeah but you can expect that like i stopped posting a lot on reddit just I used to do all the budget build series where I'd put in like 20 hours of work building like deck guides, article, everything. And then it would never really pan out. Um, so this hand's kind of awkward, but if we could hit a land, a red source, I think being able to have a one drop answer here is pretty good. So this is nice because I could control their board now. Oh, yeah, that. Okay, so don't kill my robber and I'll take the Clothis. Have you run this list at all anymore, Titans? I uh, ran into the mirror just before this. No stomp. They have stomp.
Professional magic player. Draws another robber the riches. If we draw land, I could just take their three drop here. If not, I have a braid. Um, so here we have the decision, I think mana efficiency wise, what did we exile? Just temple and that. So I can accrue in war. So decisions, I do this, they have questing beast, then I can't really attack through, but then I can just trade the abrade for it anyways. This means that they take a point of damage. Yeah, I think I like that. Okay, so we hit the questing beast. My only consideration was if I could hit a two drop or a one drop off them, and then we're pretty good. But now they take a point of damage. Oh. Bold strategy cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Okay, so they Coco. Let them take two damage. And then abrade something. Bye, friends. Bye, friends. Exaxes with the two points to spare. Um, I'm surprised they kept Ferocid on in against us. That seems like a very ill-advised card. Let's run it back. It's Exaxes that they're dead. What more do you want? Uh, this hand's kind of loose. Nah, we'll try it. We'll try it. We could kill the elf on one. Chandra's kind of a mull. This fervent champion's not getting us totally there. Well, they mull to five. I would like a land, please. Okay, so this is Stomp. Okay, so they have something. They don't. Interesting. Okay, land. Just like two lands in a row. Don't know what they kept. Like it might just be Coco. But I have lightning bolts in hand now with a braid. This could be BTE into Coco. I'm going to do this because this is more mana efficient at this point. They deal the same amount of damage. There is a chance I could keep it for cleave, but I think we're okay just passing. It's really interesting that they keep holding. What do they have? Just more braids and they just don't want to use it on fervent? 
I spent uh, I spent it on my Chandra upgrades. They're in the store today. I actually don't mind these. I like the kind of like worn out look of them. So if they have questing beasts, it's a bit annoying. I, I honestly, like, do they just have lions? Um, I think we're just hard casting here. Passing the turn. Like, they must just have drawn lions. Cool. Take two. I guess the downside with that approach is I can't kill a questing beast. But they dead. You have to understand, my, the Canadian dollar doesn't go as far on Arena as it does uh, in other places. I, I almost got it fully foiled out. I'm not paying 5,000 gems for a Bomat, or 5,000 gold for a Bomat career. Up to plot two. Have you started brewing lists yet for uh, the new set, Titans? I got two already, but I need to take a look. Uh, I'm really good at drawing. Yeah, we're gonna keep this. This is pretty dead against the Yorian matchups, but the Faceless Haven's low key pretty good. Especially if this is like the Abzan version, which it is. This could be Doom Foretold. Oh, okay. Well, getting rid of Field of Ruins, nice. Probably just hard casting this. Tyrant Scorn. Esper Andy. I like having the haste for like a post wipes. Guess this is worse if they have Othakaya because I can't kill it in response. Let's not play into our wrath here. If they want a one for one, then I just bone crusher and then drop the robber, the rich. If they go to Othakaya, I will. Okay. They foretell. So they could counter this. Dovin's Veto. Mm. That's probably Doom Scar. Against control, you just want to take your time. They're not pressuring me right now. If it is Doomscar, they take out these two, which is fine. I hit them with Robber. If I hit a land, I can also just Faceless Haven them. But 
probably go Robber first. The only downside here, again, if they are an Othakaya deck, I don't have access to the Frostbite. Okay, Extinction Event's fine. Perfect. Mystic Sanctuary. I think with access to another Faceless this turn. Because their turn's probably going to be Yorian here. So I can rob her of riches, and then I can frostbite to trade with the Yorian. If I hit a land, then I can also Ember Cleave. Birth of Melides. They're dead. GG. Let the control players do their thing. So this is a Vortex matchup. Um, so Ferocidon's probably fine. We just want to overload. So they did show Extinction Event. So I do want to be mindful of my splits. Um, generally, I'll cut a cleave in these matchups. Um, it'll be interesting to see... I think over these, bring it in a braid. So they showed Birth of Melides, so I want to be able to get through the 04 if they have it on the curve. But I guess Frostbite also hits Planeswalkers, so this is just strictly better. I think we just cut one of these. Do it like that. Uh, They have any life gain that could be relevant. It's also just a threat with menace. I'm assuming they're just gonna bring in like a bunch of removal and sweepers. So if we get a Chandra or a Vortex to sweep sit, we're pretty good. So they did show a vent. So Jetty, I've actually played very little against goblins. Um, it might just be like, a, like what rank are you now? Like last month when I was in Mythic, I, I maybe played like two or three goblin matches, and I've probably played two, three hundred matches. Curving out nicely here. So I'm not too concerned about the wall here. Gold. Yeah, it might be like a lower rank. Um, there's easy ways to hit. Like, what are you? What deck are you playing right now? Like, Rampaging Ferocidon beats the deck. Authority of the Consoles slows it down quite a bit. Um, Cat Oven's usually pretty good against it. This deck is actually, the one I'm playing now, is pretty good against it. Just because you have a lot of removal. Okay, opponent's mana base is awful. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four. Let's just attack in here. So I'm purposely not giving them a target with their Field of Rune. I can see Adventures struggling a bit. Um, you could do the tax cards. Um, like, is there anything? What Muxus puts into play. I played a lot of Auras. Or is there's a lot more higher up in Mythic, I find. But it might just be anecdotally. I'm thinking in Auras. Because there's the. Because you want a Cocoa Bowl. 
Yeah, play Authority of the Consoles, Sonoris. Yeah, or Orzov is much better in best of three. Um, the Kaya's Ghost Form is a hell of a card. So continuing, they're missing black mana, so I'm going to continue to punish them. get it here so I'm actually gonna do kind of a tricky line here I'm gonna do this and I'm gonna pop this because our hands pretty garbage outside of that so I played that cycling deck um, or a variation J it's got a terrible matchup against the angels so if you're seeing a lot of angels I'd advise against it but outside of that, it's uh, it's quite powerful. One thing I liked was having access to potential sweeper in the side, um, something like Wrath of God, just to break like the the gruel mirrors because you could usually just or like the creature mirrors. So we got the opponent kind of dead a number of ways here, which is nice. opponent's mana base was like one of each card that they've owned. So doing this, it adds more devotion to Annex. This could be Settle the Wreckage. Which, I mean, if they have it, they have it. I don't really care. If not, they take a ton of damage. And then just thins out my deck further. Got their black source. We got Settle. Show me Settle. Baby shark, do 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 do. Your shark's dead, do 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 do. Style on them, dead to upkeep trigger. <laughs> Bye, friend. Crack, crack the game to life, die. Look, we gave them a chance. They had a turn. They could have tapped. They could have had one mana fog. Let's run one or two more of this one. And then uh, let's see if we can get to plat tier one with this. And then um, I want to try Howling Mind's Gyruda list. It's probably... Uh, more of the fun of category for now. Okay, I'm really good at drawing exactly that. All right, we'll keep this hand. Eternatus. What are the chance? Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to change my logo to Teferi and then make a uh, all my sleeves be like to fairy ones to make them think we're Gandalf players. So the hand is very soft to extinction event, but outside of that, we get to go annex this turn. Okay. Oh. 
Let's hope this isn't... I love how we've drawn three Ramanop Ruins when we only play three in our deck. No Doomscar one time. No Doomscar one time. One time no Doomscar. Don't do it, opponent. Don't do it, opponent. Don't, don't you do it. Don't you do, don't. I'll let you turn four sweep. Oh, it's the best way to play. You want to counter opponent? You don't. Well, we're just doing this for power. We're going to see a shark for one. Oh, I love it. I want to face every Yorian player with this deck. Depart into dreams. Um, I kind of want to... Do this, discard my hand. Because it's only a point of damage, but I get to draw four cards this way. Those four cards were terrible. Like straight up notably bad. Oh, this is Constructed All-Star Depart into Realm. Two mana foretell, bounce a permanent. Um, so we're definitely playing a land here. Bait out some counters. I want to keep this for a post sweeper turn. The opponent saw it coming. So keeping this post, if they have a sweeper, then I'm fine. I get to follow it up with our hand's not great either, so I'm kind of content ditching it. Yeah, so my plan was to play the Annex out, because if they killed anything in combat, I at least get a token off this. Plus, if they shark there, then I don't want to crack it just then. Authority's fine. Um, because I might ditch my hand, this is better. Bye, friend. Did I give to? I, I thought too long. <laughs> Okay, so opponents like pure Gandalf, so usually I'll cut some number of cleaves. Um, honestly, just cut the cleave. Especially if they're on bounce effects. Frostbite's not bad. It can hit like um, a nurse set if they have it. It can hit... Uh, to fairy if it down ticks. What are lands? No authority on one. That's a hell of a card. Hell of a card.
So... I think we do this. And then next turn do this. This gives me two attackers. I can frostbite if they have like baffling end or something. The downside here. Oh, they just skyclave. That's that's an easy yes for me. Um, let's get these going. I'm gonna frostbite this on end step. There's no point in doing it now just because I get the block. This way, if they want to sweep, I'm still gonna have two attackers. Downside to this is we don't get left any bodies. So I'm playing around, it's kind of twofold. I get countered this way, but then I don't get censored. They could sweep here. We're kind of running out of gas. So, and we've only done four points of damage. That's fine. All right, we're the Yorian deck now. If they blink the baffling end, I'm left with robber. Oh, that's annoying. Chandra off the top. Something. This way, if they sweep, I'm still left with something. Could be Yorian to turn. They brought in Baffling Ends, which aren't great with the Annex. Ten life. ECD. It's not good at all. Because they get Skyclave back now. Make it seem like we have something. We're pretty dead at this point. If I draw another line, I'm just going to go to the next game. With Yorian, they're going to be able to bounce their board, and I'm just not coming out of it. I'm assuming they have a counter spell as well. They're at 8 here, so they get back Skyclave. I'm guessing they get rid of Roiling Vortex. This is just in case they get rid of Ferocidon. They just talk. Yeah, I 
think we're dead. Let's see what we got. So although we drew Faceless because they have the castle with Teferi, they're going to have a lot of mana up, so it's just not worth that game. Um... I think we just run it back, hope for a better draw. I'm actually going to cut one of these and play one of Braid. They showed enough there that... Um, like, that wall soaked up a good amount of damage. No play on one, but I think this is fine. Robber into Annex is good. Friendo. If we draw land next turn, then I'm going to go Bowmat and Stomp. Oh, there's not Bowmat. They want that there. Ooh. Don't mind that. I'm going to do this this turn. We don't get the immediate damage. But getting this under a counter spell is good. Or they just naturally pull that out. So that's free. And we'll do this. So I'm saving this because I want to try to draw cards. No Wrath of God. Untap Chandra. Okay, that's decent. That's actually not bad. I can kind of play a tempo game with them. I could return the Baffling into their hand and then get a 3-3. Three, three. The brightness! Ah, you need a land. This game's been frustrating. Just on the cusp of punishing them a couple times and just never drawing that line. I think we are going to do this. See what they block here. I think we're fine with this. This one's annoying. We're there, just... We need to sneak this Chandra down. It's probably a Doomscar. So let damage settle first. See if they want to counter this. They do. I 
think that's okay. That's not okay. I know what the audio has been pretty weird here because now they have four men up. Yeah, we're probably dead. Stumbled too long on the land. They don't have castle out yet, so we'll still play it. That resolving is pretty good. So here, if they don't block then I pop it. If they block, then I minus on Chandra. Ah, uh, I got tempoed! We're dead. We're dead. They, they played me. I was hoping it wasn't that bounce card. I wanted to do that before combat. I still think that's the right move like because if you attack first and then you chandra you don't get the the upside because i wanted to be able to if possible pop it to draw some cards jenganta we'll play first so this could be either burn or sack a uh, couple good cards. We have some removal into Ferocidon if it's sack. Chandra some card advantage. Generally want to use your stomps earlier if possible, just if they have oven or sacks out. Okay, so that looks like sack. So they took that, likely tells me that they're sacrifice deck because of the cat. Now that they have the oven out. Probably just going face here. It's actually not bad. I don't particularly want to lead this into a claim just yet. This is a pretty free block. I will trade with their cat. So if they bring it back, I frostbite it. If it's Devil, that's fine. I think three cards is better this turn. So they just block here. They're pretty much like fogging my entire 
turn. The double oven turn is pretty bad for us without hitting cleave. But similarly, we've also drawn three faceless havens. We've drawn more faceless havens than we have red sources. Which is always a bit awkward. Because if I draw another red source, then at least I could burning tree and keep up this frostbite. It's very important I keep the frostbite out in case they draw mayhem devil. Okay, so it means it's not a devil at least yet. Could see claim. Okay, so they're a trail version. So they're gonna draw some cards. Triple oven. Okay, opponent. Oh, that was probably the best card we could have drawn. Yeah, that was a draw. That was literally the best card we could have drawn. Because now they have to do this before. We are just like super dead to Corvold. That's the only downside. And they block Bone Crusher. So that's an interesting trade here, and I, I think I let it happen. We don't have much removal in the deck, in the main board. And if they draw Mayhem Devil, I'm basically dead. Hey Jordy, uh, I finished top 150 last month Mythic with it. I have like a 70% win rate with it. So I've been doing well with it. Um, we're three and one today, losing to blue-white control where we just didn't really get much mana going. If you like mono red, if you like aggressive decks, then I would definitely check it out. So they're digging here. Okay, they got a low strider. Might see the strider out of them. I think at this point we do this and now we just start trying to attack in with Faceless Havens. Cool. Two blocks here. They don't gain any life. Um, Auras is a tough matchup if they can get to like five power or like five toughness. Um, Blue whites, if they have a lot of exile effects, is pretty tough. Um, if they're just on like the sweeper plan, it's not as bad because we have Annex. Um, I can pull up what my like ratio is. Elves can be a bit tricky because they go really wide really quick. While the opponent fiddles themselves. 
I actually don't think I've lost to... Okay, so they have Mayhem Devil. It's a bit of an issue. They might still be dead. Because they can't... Uh, so I'm 26 and 10 with the list. Uh, white life gain. Angels is really tough. I would say that's the hard one. And they could gain some life now, though. I think they did that wrong. They should have done two foods because now they... Well, I guess they could bring the cat back, but they can't sack it. Uh, Snowland. Also does it for us. I think we might just be dead. We have to see how long we could dodge the... Target the Bone Crusher? Does that not... Okay, I guess we have a turn for... We, nah, we're dead. Okay, so this matchup is basically just all removal and cage. Uh, Cleave's actually quite relevant in this matchup. I usually cut the Annex because they have Claim. It's not that great. I also cut the Bomat Couriers because they just get picked apart. And because this is the food version, you could cut a Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, you have your cheap stuff. Have your removal. And then go to Cleave. Yeah, no, they played it tight. We couldn't really... We dodged the Mayhem Devil a number of turns, but... Our mana was a little bit awkward. I think we keep this. We don't have double red yet, but Roberto into Bone Crusher. Also, Triple Oven is going to give you a lot of insulation. They gained a lot of life that game. We got a lot better post board. Look at me. I'm the cat player now. Red Source. Red source. Um, I'm gonna slow roll this right now because if they have removal, I want to keep this. Especially if they have like claim and a sack outlet. Okay, so they have the trail. Red source, please. Oh, come on, it's two games in a row. So I'm going to braid this oven on end step. Let them claim my bone crusher first, potentially. So they can still have Woe Strider. They can still have another oven. They already played a land, so they can't have tower. Got him. Got him. Nice turn, opponent. Okay, they got Clothis. Are you... This 
game. This game is mocking me. Why? Why are you... There's 24 lands in this deck. There's only three colorless. This game is super over, provided we draw literally anything. Um, I think we're just... Holding up Bone Crusher. Stomp their face. Okay. We uh, snuck out of it. Um, I think we're running it back exactly as is. So they have the Clothis. I can't deal with Clothis anyways. We could just hope to turn off their life gain. They are a bit slower of a version, so maybe we trim a cleave. They brought in Fatal Push. Maybe we trim a Chandra, keep the cleave. Vortex, maybe? No, but if we get into like a Clothis game, I don't really want to deal with that. All right. Auto keep. We have two mountains. We auto keep. That was just a big dumb beat down hand. I don't love this hand, but. This is the kill everything plan. Well, double oven is a hell of a start. You have cat, you have goose. Just kill this now. Okay, that's a good draw. That is a good draw. No cats shall be had. Get some threats so Even if they claim here, they take my Ferocidon, but if they don't, then I can start getting Embercleave going. Throw the Embercleave on the Burning Tree here if I draw land. Ah, uh, Fervor Bolt. Nice play. Nice sequencing, very well. So it doesn't come into play, but they get to try to draw a card. Faceless is a nice straw, but we are short a land here. We are Fairly weak to core hold. So this is gonna die. So we will do this. Just so they don't get the option. If they hit a land to do any more nonsense. They'll have priority again. Let's 
slowly running out of food. But I'm just hitting lions is good at least. Honestly, we're just hard casting here. The two points of damage isn't super relevant at this point, I, th I don't think. Ganta to hand. This game's been interesting. We need a snow forest, a snow mountain. This cage has saved us mounds of damage thus far. Chandra would be nice. So Ooze has a few counters, so it can trade. Give me a land. Please, please give me a land. So here my options are kill the Ooze. I think we have to two for one here. It's not great. But I need a creature. I'm not winning this game, like with Korvold anyways. So. They're on their last food. Well, I guess they got a food. Oh, they got two foods there. Smartly did it before, so I can't respond. Each activation gives them two looks. Yeah, we're just getting grinded out of the game here. Give me a land. For the love of all things holy, give me a land. One time, just give me a land. Thank you. Okay, so... This gives them very... Small window to try to get out of it. They have a cat, which doesn't do much. They can gain some life. Um, so I go ramen up just for extra damage. Uh, I prefer the damage output that it provides. In these games, it could make the difference. I need an answer for the devil. They drew second devil, are you kidding me? Yeah, we're dead now. We are dead. Too many turns we missed. Too many turns that we missed. Because the problem is now with Faceless, they have that. Okay, that's actually good. Um, so we kill here. Three foods though, so I can't activate it. I shouldn't have paid three then. What's my out here? I need to kill this one more devil. 
They can just cast Jingantha though. Here, just gonna get Corvold. I this is actually the first time I've lost to it. I just I've gotten a really odd draw. Like we didn't really have threats, so we couldn't pressure them. And then we gave him enough time to stabilize. You you gotta go fast against this. In game two. Yeah, no, probably dead. Another goose. Let's just see what we draw. Clothis online too. Yeah, those are all our lines. They got us. Let's do did I fall? Okay, let's do one more. There was something to consider with like so against the sack version, the non-food version, or the trail version, may want, oh, wrong, wrong deck. So maybe what we do, Uh, ley line. Whenever you are a permanent, you control becomes a target of a spell or ability an opponent controls, deals two damage. We can try that out. We are on a nice run, but. Getting punked, our faceless is. I may go down to three faceless. We'll see. Island and chill. Well, you don't turn away many hands with three creatures on turn two. We don't have Annex, which is a little unfortunate. Also, if we are on the play, it'd be better. Ketria Trinum. What are you? Could be Yorian Pile. I think we're just going to stomp here. They might be on extinction event. Ah, let's just do this. Yarshin. Yarshin the Martian. Okay, so they are four color. I mean, oh, this might be Niftalite. So it's Niv Mizzet. So their deck does have Clarions, but we need to be the aggressor in this matchup. Especially if they go Yasharn this turn. No White Source. Always have it. Never don't. I mean, we need to push damage. We have five, seven damage here. We are likely not going to win the long game against the deck that draws like four to five cards. There's the white source, so it's Niv to Light or Niv Mizzet Reborn. 
Uh, no Niv Miz at this turn. Scarab God's fine. I think we just need to push damage wherever we can here. Deafening Clarion is the worst card they can draw. But so we've seen so we have two Bone Crushers and the Chandra are lethal. Um, they do have access to make one creature here. So Scarab God, for those unfamiliar, five, four mana, exile a creature, you get a 4-4. Four, four. That takes their whole turn for the most part. So you already, uh, this is why I was playing with the Bruins. Like getting that extra kind of chip damage in these matchups is also often super relevant. Not quite dead on board. Another Haster does it. Any Haster does it. Chandra does it. Burning Tree does not do it. We gotta leave him dead to something. Leave does it as well. We got outs. I guess they could double block. Yeah, but if we look at Castle that turn, it's something to consider. Um, the one downside with Castle though is it doesn't come untapped if you have Faceless Havens. So you could have a hand with Castle and that, where we've had, had hands with um, Ramanop Bruins. we're off the winning plan with attacking so ruin annex doesn't do it I guess annex could potentially let us go wide Ah, uh, this is going to be really annoying if we lose. They kept one on top. That's probably Clarion. Clarion, we're dead. That's super frustrating. One point of damage away. Or that works. Okay, so I think we need to win through a cleave I don't care about cage Robert doesn't do it okay we're dead we're dead that is really annoying vortex uh, curl in and I'll keep the lava coils in. Um, we need to be the aggressors here. I don't think Ferocidon's that good in this matchup. Cleave can be relevant. Um, so we saw that game. Helps us go over the top. Uh, Bone Crusher. 
probably trim. So they're definitely going to be on Clarions, some number. Let's trim along the edges like that. All right, let's get rid of our Frostbite. Yeah, that's it's. We've had like two or three games where we've been one off lethal. Tang goes from okay to like really good if we draw a mountain here. Worst case, I have the stomp on too, but give me a mountain. Jesus. Mountain. You stupid deck, give me a mountain. So we can't Burning Tree into Annex here. So I think we're just gonna go Annex. Cause next turn I could Burning Tree into Bone Crusher Giant. Also, if they Clarion here, I'm still left with bodies, but they don't have the right mana. This also lets me have more mana if they go... Oh, that's actually great. Um, What are the chances they have Extinction Event? do this because if they have extinction event I still hit them for four okay so they could have Clarion here but Clarion still leaves me with a lot of bodies bye friend Exaxes. So I think it's selection bias that we ran into them that game, but largely I think we're better off with the Faceless Havens. Like four, they've won quite a few games on their own when I've played. I think I'd sooner go two Ruins like 18 snow covered and i think what we might try we can try the castle line it's just it's a really good threat especially against like decks where you don't want to commit more to the board um it having vigilance as well has come up a lot of times where you can attack it and do some stuff like generally speaking blue white control unless they have an active castle or can time a shark typhoon can't really interact with it and if they're spending their turn five mana every turn just to block your castle, you're in a good spot. That sounds good. This forces them to have an answer to a fervent on two. So we're a little weak to Clarion here. Opponent hasn't had ramp at all. Any of these games on two? Okay, shock on two. That can be cold steel. I'm 
they name here? Red, so they don't have white mana. Need one more land for this hand. Okay, so they have white mana. They could have Tyrant Scorn. And I think if what we're gonna do is we're gonna attack first regardless, and then play out Annex. Oh, no, we're just playing out Annex. Sweet, we can follow it up with Chandra. Because then that goes to seven, so we can go through a Nif Mizzet. If they clarion on here, I'm still in a good spot. I can drop a Chandra. I could also just Ember Cleave. Sorry about that. The downside of a beard is sometimes you get hair in your mouth. Into the clarion. Nice line. Nice line indeed. Um, I think we're just doing this. Chandra could hit for two, but I can't like Chandra and Annex. And then this lets me Ember Cleave if they tap low. So what we do here is Chandra down tick on Niv Mizzet and then Frostbite hit them and then they're dead. To the Faceless Haven. Well, near dead to the face of... Well, yeah, because they'll take the... Well, be left with some bodies behind, depending on how they go. They can pulse me and annex me, but they're dead. They can go... Scarab God... It's fine. We have to use two spells, but... The old use two spells for the card that has already drawn three cards. Okay, they're dead now. Where are we going, folks? Where are we going? Cleveland! About Xaxes? About Xaxes. Alrighty. Nice win. Back up to plat two.